moving on to the um well another topic i want to talk about concerning Kanye West is this announcement that the yeezy gap engineered by balenciaga collection is well we've got an i we've got an idea what it looks like and i'm not sure if it's all out at the moment but we've got an idea what it looks like and it's, as you expect whatever we've been seeing Kanye wearing head to toe nowadays is basically what he's basically you know proposed as his kind of um silhouette as his outfit as his well not outfit as his outfit as his um what you call it what's that word called and it's wardrobe it's wardrobe staples because i always got the feeling that gap collection with kanye or the, the, the yeezy gap collection originally was always based upon wardrobe staples like okay i'm gonna make the perfect because he, he kept mentioning all the time in interviews a perfect hoodie um you know spent many many hours doing it he treated like a basically a piece of couture like you know refining it refining it, refining it to the point where he'd get it you know the perfect hoodie and then mass market it right which would basically be the the point of you know, that'd be the, the kind of the the pinnacle of great design be able to make something that's legitimately the best in class but then able to disseminate it you know to everybody to use easily like a flipping really good calculator for instance so i thought that was a really noble or great idea to go with and then it's interesting because if i'm not mistaken the early team involved um the girl from uh maua lola right but then I don't know what happened there. Does anybody know? If anybody got any information regarding that, well, I'd really like to know what happened with her. Did she just leave because it wasn't, it's was taking too long to put together? <coughs> was she get, did she get fired? That was strange because I thought that marriage would have been really cool to have seen how she could basically take her vision from her brand and kind of, you know, marry it next to what Kanye was doing at Yeezy, working under his tutelage or working with him with Lock and Step. I don't really know what happened there, but it didn't really work out. Anyway, it didn't work out. Then suddenly um, Demna popped up out of nowhere and they decided to work together, which maybe made a lot more sense in terms of um, Kanye actually being a fan of the brand. Like he actually wears... Uh, you know Balenciaga and he's worn some Vetamon pieces head to toe all the time he's always in the store he legitimately enjoys the brand he's talking about you know I think he mentioned in a couple of interviews that he wants to have his own in store in store where he has basically a little selection of his favorite pieces that he pulls from every collection which I think they started doing online actually which is an easy win they'd have like a little URL I think I remember we've seen somewhere they had like a little URL where you could basically shop Kanye's picks from Balenciaga which is you know for all the kind of you know bandwagon follower people out there that love to just wear whatever he wears easy easy way to go about things but anyway there's a question of uh, GQ it says first look the easy gap engineer collection by uh, the, the first look easy gap engineer by Balenciaga collection it says uh, yeah calling it hacking a creative exchange or like long time collaborators Kanye and Balenciaga the Demna are uh, it's called engineering whatever you call it the next eight Yeezy Gap pizza are set to drop today at Yeezy Gap and Farfetch after a countdown time on the former consumer set the clock to Tuesday they look like Gap remade for dystopia the collection is in line with only two well, is is in line with only two gap pieces Kanye has released so far the successful bulbous waxy round jacket and the cropped perfect hoodie out for the most part logos and branding in shapes materials silhouettes more recognizable than in than insignia there are hoodies and t-shirts layered over or under ponchos long draping tees and shakets um there's track suits a jumpsuit made of what appears to be a uh, swishish material baggy billowing pants almost everything is cast in black save for a light wash and tattered denim options of course every model in the lookbook is wearing a full face covering prices range from one for 120 dollars to 44 dollars 444 it's priced re this is the thing that's embarrassing about it. again i know he's working with gap i get it you know it's mass market blah 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 but the fact that Kanye is able to produce this level of clothing at that price range and some of your favorite streetwear brands can't even sell you a t-shirt for 50 pounds you know it's shocking in it shocking state of affairs these guys get especially some of these guys on twitter and instagram and stuff that sell you a trucker hat for a hundred dollars like are you insane we've all got the same computers we've all got access to alibaba we can all kind of screen print stuff or you know apply diamantes onto a flipping piece of foam it's not hard to do and you want to sell it for a hundred dollars are you insane really are 
that's why I'm happy a lot of those guys have stopped saying for the kids. Remember, that was a big thing people used to say back in the day. I'm doing it for the kids. I'm doing it for the culture. No, you're not. You're doing it for your pockets. Because if it's for the kids, you'd make it affordable. But you're not making it for the kids. You're making it for that maybe that kid who goes to flipping Mr. Nice Guys, whose dad drives a flipping Porsche Jeep or something, or he drives one, right? That's the kid you're making it for. But you're not making it for regular kids. They can't even afford it. Or if they can, they, they can only afford it to resell. So they can buy other stuff. But yeah, I love it. Um, I think this round jacket is kind of anorak. It looks like a round jacket, basically the same sort of material with a hood on it. Instead, I love that. Um, I'm a big fan of that. I'm not going to lie. Is it all unisex as well? So I think it's all men's women. It's just all standard, right? Then it's got this denim jacket that looks like it's um, inspired by like a motorbike jacket. It's a bit padded on the, on the shoulders. Classic kind of Demna Balenciaga sort of riff there as well. I love that. Um, he's got a version of his water boots that he's been wearing all the time i'm not sure if they're going to be part of the collection also but um good washing jeans love that uh you got this a full cat suit with some fire high boots you've got a uh, another one with some fire high boots with a side bag which is going to be really popular when that ends up coming out um that jacket again i mentioned you've got another sort of rainy they, 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 it's obviously giving a lot of serial killer vibes don't get me wrong do you know what I mean you, you rock up with this at uh, the good thing with this with the pandemic it's made this sort of clothing not look that scary I think if this was 2017 2018 2019 people would scream a lot more but nowadays I don't think people really bat an eyelid if you walked into Selfridges wearing this shit I really don't um, maybe I'm wrong I don't think so though. but um, yeah another all in one suit oh we've got a classic Gap hoodie there with the logo actually on it so I guess that one that we saw with the patch over it didn't exist or maybe it's been changed. You've got some rubbery type pants with again the boots, which I'm not really too fond of. The gloves I like, the jacket I like, of course. The cut on the hoodie is perfect, especially with the t-shirt underneath. Uh, what's continuous here? What else they've got here? They've got another jacket with the Gap logo written on there. Looks really cool. A long coat that I'm going to be all over. Is that a coat or a trench? Maybe it's a poncho. It's like a poncho. Maybe it's a poncho. They've got another poncho there for men over. Drop there. They've got one of those bags that you put, um, that you can basically uh, throw into the water that floats and stuff. As a backpack, another poncho. That denim look. Oh, the denim jacket comes in black. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bad boy. Those two looks are really nice, especially the jackets. I'll be all over those jackets. They look really cool. Uh, what else is it? Let's see the quote here. It's a vision come true uh, to work with Gap and Demna, the creative the director of Balenciaga, to make the incredible product available to everybody. Ye told Vogue last month. Uh, the, the the This project allowed me to join forces with Ye to create utilitarian fashion for all. Yeah, I like it, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I actually like it. I'd wear a lot of the stuff. Um, there's actually a collection here available, right? This is from earlier. I'm not sure if it's all available now. Maybe it's all been sold out. But what was it, the pricing-wise? Well, how much was all this stuff? Was it all gone? The padded denim jacket. Uh, what does it say here? Padded was 430 Not bad, isn't it? So it's all gone, I think, at the moment. Join wait list to get information when it's out. Yep, so it's all gone. But it's really nice, man. Not gonna lie, the, the the jeans are nice as well. It's all gone, all sold out. Nothing's available, unfortunately, in all the sizes. But the jeans are how much? Two twenty for a really good washing jeans. Actually, get back in the day, you should actually make decent jeans and chinos. Back in the day, <coughs> oh, finally got sweatpants with without the cuff. I'm always uh, that's one of my fucking biggest pet peeves. Which is why I love wearing Rick Owens and you know uh, sweatpants because they usually don't have a cuff at the bottom but I hate wait I hate having sweatpants with elasticated bottoms so anything with like a straight bottom like that hem I'm all for it mate all for it but yeah this is even the sweatpants are sold out sweatpants are 180 bargain as well in terms of weight you'd imagine got a t-shirt with a small logo the chair so t-shirt with a classic logo long sleeve t-shirt gap hoodie oof all looks really great i'm not going to lie very very fan of it hoodie as well without the drawstrings interesting shape too in the terms of the hood i'm not a fan of the the bird in the back though oh i could do it out i'm doing out the bird in the back i'll be completely honest but yeah pretty decent collection all in all i guess if you're that way inclined you can check it out available at um, easygap.com let's see if it's refresh if i can do anything happens nothing happens right no nothing new there no 
but yeah looks pretty decent very easy to use site nothing more nothing less on there in it check it out if you're that way inclined